Hi, this is Amy, editor of MIDI.com, and I'm here to take you on a tour of our library. We've been publishing since the fall of 2002. We're now at 2022. That means we've been publishing for 20 years. Wow, that means there's a lot to look at. And I thought, in case you either hadn't seen it or forgot it was there, I would take you on a tour. So you'll find the pattern library up here. It might be called archive in some of our back issues, but let's get there from the front. You go here and you see you have two choices, find past patterns and features or browse back issues by cover. So let's do that first. And what you'll see are all the covers of all the issues we have published in the past 20 years. I'm still stunned every time I say that. There's our first issue. Um, we are finding that the menus are misbehaving in the current version of Chrome, so I'm not going to go there now because I'm recording this in Chrome. But the content is all very visible, and I will show you the easiest way to get at it. Looking at the covers here, you'll see we have fall, winter, spring, and summer. We changed all that to fall, winter, spring, summer, and first fall, which is our early fall issue. But if you're looking for summer, you could say browse all the way down the summer or the spring issues. Or up here, you could browse all the way up the spring summer issues here. They all nicely line up in columns. So that's one way to look at what we've got. And sometimes you just feel like a browse. You don't really know what you're looking for. So that's one thing you can do. Let's say you're in the mood to knit something specific. We go up here and we find fast pat find past patterns and features. So here this brings you to a much tinier menu. If you're on a phone, remember you'll need to scroll down to see the results. So here are the options. We have all different categories. And let's say you're in the mood for a cowl today. So we're going to go to cowls. And as we scroll down, you'll see we have everything sorted by either you could call it level of difficulty. We tend to call it level of concentration, which is how much quiet or focus you need to be able to follow a pattern, because really nothing's harder than anything else. It just takes more focus. So that was the mellow section. Here's the tangy section. Here's the piquant section. That's something where you really do need a quieter room. And for extra spicy, you're going to want to close the door, lock it, and put some white noise on and some headphones so no one can bother you. So there's all sorts of choices here. And if you click on any of them, let's click on this one. You'll see the layout looks reasonably similar. It's not that old uh, in terms of layout. But you'll notice as you go to some of the other issues that we've got older patterns here. So the pages may look a little more archaic. The pictures are smaller, ads are a different size, the buttons look a little different, but it's all still nitty. It's all exactly the same concept. It's always pictures, directions, and charts either on the same page or on a separate page, depending on how big the charts are. So that's one way to see all the cows you have, and you can just find something that appeals to you and off you go. What about socks? I like to look at socks because we have a huge collection of socks. So in the mellow, not too many, but look at the tangy. And these are the ones that are interesting, but not super concentrate required. You know, you can you can have maybe the TV on in the background or have friends around and look at all the beautiful choices. Pages and pages of these tangy level socks. And if you want something more complex, something like this, that's the carry on soulfully or things like diversion or color work. We have texture. We've got everything here. Kind of amazing, really, all the beautiful stuff. Look at that. That's in the piquant level. That's a much more concentration required kind of pattern. And then up here with extra spicy, these really are a focus on this and nothing else kind of deal. So there you go. Lots and 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 lots, and lots of socks for you. And there's other choices. Whimsies, basically, that's anything that fits anywhere else. So it could be um, here's a watch band. Here is a blanket. Here's some leg warmers. Here's a felted pumpkin. And of course, here is a thong knitted from licorice. Uh, instead of tangy, it's actually at the chewy level of difficulty. So, and by the way, you knit them on chopsticks so that you don't wreck your needles. Anyway, we've got all sorts of great stuff for you in our archives that way. And that's one way to find them. Another way to find them might be to type in the specific thing you're looking for. Maybe you're looking for something in a DK weight yarn. So I've typed in DK, I hit return, and that's our search engine at the top. And anything that's in DK is going to come up. So we've got patterns here. Here's one in the current issue that's in DK weight. Um, it's not the most perfect way to search. And we are working on an improved version for future where you will actually be able to search 
specifically by yarn weight. But for now, it works pretty well. So, you know, we've been using it for 20 years. So um, let's say you're not in the mood to knit something right now. You want to read. You want to learn a new technique. So you go to what would you like to read? Here we have all the different categories of articles and features we've published over the years. We have our Yarn Table Yarn Reviews, a program we ended a while ago, but it's still interesting to look back and see what knitters actually thought hands-on of some of these yarns. We have all sorts of technique information. This was the original, like the OG techniques column, if you ask me, on the internet. Uh, Teresa taught so many people how to do the Kitchener stitch, and um, this is probably the page that's most linked to on our entire website. And as you can see, this is the problem I was mentioning with the menus. We'll fix it. Um, but everything still works. These are This is where you browse through the patterns and articles in an older issue like this. They're up at the top of the page. And here's how to do the Kitchener stitch. That's what happens if you have a printed magazine and it gets old, it still looks the same. But if you get an online magazine and technology changes, you got to go back and fix it. So these look great on Safari and Firefox on Chrome. They're misbehaving. And so we'll deal with that. Anyway, that's the techniques article from Teresa. We have other great things, including this, which I just love to share. This is the column that Franklin Habit wrote for us for seven years. Uh, where he took vintage patterns, and by vintage, I mean actually antique, from the 1900s, the 1800s, and he would rework them so that people nowadays could understand them. And this is one of our favorites. It's the big damn pineapple. So not only is it a pineapple, it's a handbag, and it's amazing. And his stories about how he got from the crazy pattern to the actual workable pattern is amazing. You need to read this stuff. Even if you never knit it, read it. So thank you for that, Franklin. We are very jealous that you are now living blissfully in Paris. God bless you. Um, so that's what we've got. We've got all sorts of different things in here. We've got different uh, techniques from different approaches. Um, this one, if, this, if you're a heavy duty knitter and you really like to think hard about your knitting, Jenna Wilson has a brain unlike anyone else. And there are articles here on how to adjust fit and length and all sorts of other things that are at a much higher level than most articles in Nitty. Very, very heavy duty, technical math oriented. That's here for you if you want that. There's so much in here. We also have the archives of all of our reviews. And because there's so many products, we have not listed them in each section. But if you click on any of them, for example, you get to see what we're reviewing at the time. So there's all sorts of books. There's usually some sort of a bag or a tool. If we had one, there wasn't this time. But one way you could find things, say you were looking for uh, the Tom Bin reviews that we've done over the years, and we've done a lot of them. Type it in your search engine, which is the Nitty search engine. And as you'll see, it's searching Nitty only. And here's all of the times we've mentioned Tom Bin in the magazine. And you can go back and see specific things that we've reviewed of theirs. So here, for example, is the Swift. And we have seen that for years, but this is one of the very first reviews we did of it. We talked about you know what we liked and we told you where to buy it. There are books here that are reviewed, um, knitting bowls, all sorts of tools. There's more beautiful knitting bags. Uh, there's, there's reviews from things that don't necessarily exist now. However, Lantern Moon, although this bag will be gone, Lantern Moon has just been relaunched. That's available here too. You can find the old knitting reviews. Here's some fiber reviews. Here's some neat stuff I found on Etsy. Other things that I just like the look of. There are some buttons I used to be able to sell for Nitty. We don't do that anymore. But there's all sorts of neat stuff. And, and we're talking about 20 years worth of content here. So when you're bored at work or you've got some downtime, come in and play around in the library and see what's here. You may find a pattern either that you never saw before that you want to knit or that you forgot existed. Happens to me all the time. Thanks for watching.